Okay, let's generalize this problem a little bit. Instead of saying the wire is 83 centimeters long, let's let it be W, some number greater than zero. So that's the length of the wire. And we're going to cut it into two pieces. Let's let one of the pieces be represented by the variable X. And then that means the other piece will have a length of W minus X. And we're going to choose to bend or shape the length of wire that is represented by X into a circle. And now we, in terms of X, we'd like to find a formula for the area of that circle. So we know that the circumference is two pi R and we know that we're taking this length X and bending it into the shape of a circle. So X is also the circumference. So that means these two expressions have to be equal. And that means x equals 2 pi r, so the radius is x divided by 2 pi. Now, why did I do that? Because I want to use the radius, pi r squared, to get a formula for the area of that circle in terms of x. So here's pi r squared, which if I uh, square this fraction and cancel out, I get x squared over 4 pi. So there's the formula for the area of the circle. The square, if I take this length, w minus x, and bend it into the shape of a square, all four sides have the same length. And it'll be this total perimeter, which is what this is, divided by 4 for each side. So the area of the square is w minus x over 4, the quantity squared. So here is an expression for the total area in terms of x, the area of the square plus the area of the circle. I can find the first derivative of that function. I could put in x, t sub a of x, uh, and set that function, the derivative equal to 0, find the critical numbers. I might be able to prove that that critical number generates a minimum value for the area. So uh, for the derivative of this term, I'll use the power rule. Uh, 2 over 4 pi reduces to 1 over 2 pi. For the second term, I'll use the power rule followed by the chain rule. By the way, the derivative of the inside is negative 1 fourth. You got to consider this 4 here. And if I simplify that, if I picture distributing this minus sign over w minus x, it becomes x minus w. 2 goes into 4 twice, so that denominator becomes an 8. So we want to know when does that first derivative equal 0. I choose to multiply every term by 8 pi to clear the equation of fractions. I get 4x plus pi x minus w pi equals 0. Solving for x. I get w pi over the quantity pi plus 4. That's the critical number. Now, to prove that that generates a minimum area, we'd have to use the first derivative test or the second derivative test. I'll leave that to the viewer. But here's an indication that, indeed, it does create a minimum. I've set w equal to 83 and evaluated w pi over pi plus 4 as 36.511. And here's a table where I evaluate the total area at different values of x, which by the way is also the circumference of the circle, because remember x was the piece of wire that we bent into the sh shape of a circle, and that's that's the circumference. So we can see that when we have this wire uh, that's 83 units long, and I only use one little piece here for the circle, that the total area is 420.32. And as X gets bigger, the total area gets smaller and smaller until we hit this value right here. And then as we go past this, the area, total area starts getting bigger again. Of course, we could go all the way to 82 point something, or actually we could go all the way to 83. Let's say we didn't have a circle. Uh, or we could let x equal zero and have the whole circle be 
I have a circumference of 83. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. And if you have any questions, post a comment.